Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight we're going to be doing Whiskey Mermaid Dark Waters. It smells like cinnamon and pine and gingerbread cookies and it smells like Christmas. So if you love Christmas, you get this bomb because that's exactly what it reminds me of is Christmas. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to be using her uh, Skull Rock Soap, I think it's called, but we're going to pop this in and actually I'm going to twist my camera first. <laughs> Ooh. So these bombs are huge, they are ginormous, so, and it's floating. This one is called Dark Waters, and so as you can see, the water is turning dark. It's to be expected. <laughs> what is that? It sounds like it's raining. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I was, wow. <laughs> okay, first of all, this guy is moving all over. <laughs> He's like a ping pong ball in my bathtub. This is what the yellow submarine from Lush was supposed to do. Maybe they should call Whiskey Mermaid and ask her, how to do it because obviously she's got that part down packed and they need a little more work but look at this look at that and look at it creeping that is just cool and you guys are seeing it much lighter than it is in person like it's dark obviously dark waters but I like expected it to be like a dark color, but it's like pitch black. He's just bouncing all over the place. I wasn't going to do a demo tonight and then I decided that I want to wash my hair <laughs> and deep condition it because it's been feeling like really dry and nasty lately so I want to throw in some deep conditioner. It was just so hot. It was like 95 degrees outside today. So I, and I was outside with the kids because we have a playhouse and we have a climber with slide and we have a seesaw and we have a um, sandbox and bubble machine and bikes and cars and a basketball hoop. Like you name it, we have it at our house. So of course they want to be outside all the time. I did end up like pulling them inside because my son's face was like bright red and I was like no. Gabby of course was like outside like field of dreams and I'm like no we gotta go inside. I was like your brother looks like he's gonna collapse. I always make sure to bring lots of water outside though. Look at that isn't that awesome? It was like a little steamboat. <laughs> Now, I love this scent, but if you are looking for a scent that would be gender neutral or for a special guy in your life, this one would be one to pick up because it's very Christmassy and it's not, it's not feminine. You're not gonna, you know, it's not sweet and florally. It smells like gingerbread cookies in my tub right now. No lie. But I do pick up like a little bit of pine. Mm. 
I feel like I'm just spinning you guys like around in a massive circle. And I wore my blow pop socks today. Blow pop. My toes are gross, that's why I wear socks with my Nike sandals. Like when I wear flip flops, I'm fine. But it's like my toes are long, so like when I wear like regular slides, they look really weird. So I just, yeah, can't do it. So I wear socks. This is like one of those like where you're afraid of what you might find if you stick your hand in the wall. No, I'm like not talking about like dying or anything. Like there's like a sea monster in there. <laughs> this would be a good bomb to put something inside because whoever gets it would really have to search for it. <laughs> I like that green phone though that we're getting. I wonder if this is gonna bubble. Cause there's a lot of foam. But this is a huge bath bomb. This is a big mamma jamma. Big mamma jamma. <laughs> And this is like one where normally like I pick it up and I'm like, oh, we only have like this much left. And I just don't want to do that because he's just like chugging along everywhere. So I did upload my aquarium video, um, I have not gotten to upload my super dad video yet, my husband hasn't been home, he worked another double today, he's been working a lot, cause he was off for that week. He was happy to go back to work. He's like, these kids are driving me nuts. I'm like, well, now you know how I feel every day of my life. Me and Gabby did some of the workbooks tonight. Really, like, honestly, she can only get through one workbook. We, she wanted to do another one, so I started another one with her, but then it's like, she's three, so I understand her, like, attention drifts. Now it's foaming. But anyway, so like her attention drifts. That's really weird. I think she gets it from her mommy. <laughs> anyway, but so her attention drifts off and then she can't get through the second workbook. So I just don't think it's worth it to do two workbooks in a night. And then we got all those leather ones because Steven wanted me, she, he wants to work on her alphabet with her. But it's like she's not at the age where she can write her alphabet and that's what these books want her to do. Like she's three and a half. I don't know if any of you guys have three year olds or around that age. But these are pre-K workbooks so I guess like I guess, like, she should be able to, but I don't know. We really haven't worked on a lot of that stuff with her. Like, we do numbers and shapes, and she knows all our- she can count 1 to 10. She can count items, like, up to, like, 13. It's really weird. Because she's actually concentrating, but if she, like, tries to count, sometimes, like, she can't count past 10. But, so,
put she knows all her colors and her numbers and we the workbook we did tonight was like same or different and she did really good with it she had a hard time like the first half of the workbook is find the things that are the same and the second half of the workbook is find the thing that's different so she had a like a hard time transitioning like understanding that now she wasn't looking for the things that were the same she was looking for the things that were different which I can understand how that would be confusing because I just told you like for 20 pages that you need to do find the things that were the same and now I'm like no we're not doing that anymore find the thing that's different <laughs> so but and then they did like find the th find the thing that's different but it was like you had three things that were the same size and then one thing that was smaller so then she was like confused because she was looking for something that was different and she didn't understand she had to find a different size she got it though and then the back of the workbook the crayola ones they have like a little plaque thing that you can hang up and put your kid's name on them so she was like super excited to put it on the um refrigerator that it said I completed my same or different workbook. How much of this guy is left? Cause now he's like foaming. Oh, we just got this little piece left. Like, my water is pitch black. <laughs> like this was not a black bath bomb. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it must have been the piece that was still floating. But this is not a black bath bomb. It is dark green. But the water looks pitch black. Now let's turn on our water because we have a lot of foam. Maybe that's a bubble.
As you see, we got a nice thick foam. Look at how thick that foam is. So your moisture content is on a seven or an eight. But I am super happy to get in this bath. It smells like a Christmas cookie. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the saying Christmas in July. This would be it. I know it's only June right now, but I may buy another one of these so I can do it in July. Just so I can write that on my Instagram. Christmas in July. <laughs> but uh, I am going to jump in this tub. And I will see all of you guys later. This is before I go actually. Yeah, it's skull soap. This is the one that I'm going to be using. I know you're supposed to break it apart, but I'm not going to use it that way. I'm going to rub it and then put it back in and let it dry out keep doing that so because it's just so pretty to break apart but okay i will let all of you guys go yeah my camera's fogging up anyway <laughs> it's i like my bath super hot there we go so bye guys